Hi everyone, this is Bakari with AppleMatters.com. I'm here to do a review of the um, Apple's new trackpad here. And I just got it this evening. Um, it's almost straight out the box here, so I'm doing a kind of a out of the box review. I've already opened it, so we're not doing that particular ritual. But um, uh, I'm going to kind of take you through a little bit about the trackpad and what I've Think about it so far and how to how to use it. Um, for the most part, basically, it's pretty easy to set up. It is a Bluetooth device. There's no USB comes with it. It does come with two uh, uh, AA batteries installed, energizers. And once you um, take it out of the box, you need to first of all pair it up with your Bluetooth. And uh, that that process is pretty easy. You just kind of turn it turn it to uh, push the button here to turn it on and you go open up Bluetooth on your preferences and it will take you through the pairing process and then once you do that um, you will probably need to also do a run a software update in order to get the latest driver for this device so you want to do that and then once that's done you have to you know quit your quit and restart your computer but um, after you do that um, it will have your driver set up and you can come here and go to preferences um, to get started and basically um, this is how I set it up so far it will, be, it will look a little it will look different when you first open it um, I have all these um, controls here set to fast um, so I can move my uh, mouse you know the, the cursor really quickly uh, you know because if you put it on this side here you know it'll go really kind of it'll go slow so I don't want to do that so I move it all the way too fast. I think it's like in the middle when you first open it up. Um, another thing that I do in terms of navigation, I tend to like to tap. When I used to have my um, old uh, laptop, I would uh, use the, uh, the tap and drag kind of thing. And so that's what I do here. If you if you tap it a couple of times, you can move it around like this and then tap it again. It releases it. So when you first open out of the box, pretty much all of these were um, these boxes are unchecked here. All right. Another thing that um, another thing that you can do here is um, you can they have you can do the right clicking. You can set where you want to do right clicking at the the left corner or the right corner here. I'm not going to use it for that. You have to use your thumb pretty much to press down to get that, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use um, another um, way of doing that. So here I have the secondary tap. I use secondary tap in order to, to do my right clicking as well. All right, so let's look at how it performs. As you can see my fingers here on the side here, pretty much, you know, you're, you're controlling it with, you know, one, two, or three or four fingers here. So you have to kind of get used to that, and it explains that pretty well in, in the preferences, but it's something you have to kind of get used to. Um, so far I'm feeling a little bit of strain in my, in my wrist somewhat, maybe because I haven't gotten used to it yet. So we'll see how that goes in the weeks to come. Um, let's go start out with say uh, iPhoto. Uh, one of the things I do like about it in terms of productivity, if I want to if I want to kind of you know go through these photos, I can kind of just go with um, three fingers and just kind of go across, and that's really quick you know way to navigate photos there. Um, if I want to zoom in on this picture, I can do that by just using two fingers. Okay. There you go. So and it, I'm not. It doesn't work as smoothly all the time as I would like. But uh, once you zoom in, you can, of course, you know, you I'm, I double tap there to to activate that there. All right, and you can move it around this way if you want. Okay. So and that works pretty much the same way in Safari when you want to zoom in and zoom out. So. Um, it's going to work a little, a little bit differently on from each application, but uh, that's basically how it works there. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. I think that's a um, kind of a productivity boost in a, in a way. Uh, if you're working in Photoshop and you be able need to, you know, zoom in and out um, on pictures, I think that that um, is really useful. Let's go to uh, Safari now and bring that over here. Uh, Safari pretty much works the same, uh, pretty way, uh, same way. It has some functionalities where you can um, say you have a lot of, um, you know, you have quite a few web pages and, and you open and you want to navigate back to some of them. So you can just kind of use three fingers and it'll switch back like this, or you can go forward. Okay, I think that's a pretty good, nice navigation thing here too. I would like to be able to have a little bit more control 
about how what fingers control how many fingers control what act, activation. It seems to me you don't have too many to have too much control over that right now. Uh, another thing that uh, is really important for me anyway, and other people, is um, it, right now the the trackpad does not have any third-party support. So, for instance, in my old, you know, using my old mouse here, I use what's called steer mouse, and steer mouse would uh, basically activate um, shortcut keystrokes for me using the mouse, and I'm not able to do that with a trackpad. So I might not be able to give up the mouse right now because I use um, steer mouse an awful lot in my in my workflow so uh, that's that's one disadvantage um, of it there uh, let's see let's go here what else um, I would say basically that's it I mean it's pretty it's pretty easy to navigate um, I think it's pretty easy to, to to get used to I think if you use it out the while you want to really think about it uh, particularly if you've used a laptop a lot, if you've done that, or if you are getting used to the iPhone and the iPad in terms of tapping kind of thing, tapping around and different things, um, that it would also be nice to have it so that if you tap in certain places, um, you know, that it would activate certain things too. I mean, that would be nice as well. Or if you do, you know, certain types of drawing around, it would do that. Um, so far, like I say, if you want to bring up um, expose or something like here you do you can do uh, let's see how was it I forget let me see how was that I forget let me look I think if you what does it say on the back of the box on the back of the box it kind of gives you some instructions there um, so if you use four fingers it would do um, application switching here and if you go this way it will bring up the uh, well application switching and then um, the other thing would be um, activate expose. I kind of get those mixed up. So that that's pretty nice too. And you don't have to have the um, the. You can use. Actually, I'm using uh, the shortcut keystrokes for uh, to activate expose uh, for something else. But um, here it's it's great to be able to use it on the trackpad. So and that's great. So because I don't I don't really like to use the command tab uh, short keys in order to do that. So that's kind of nice as well. Um, other than that, you know, you can also retail, you can uh, rotate pictures, you can pinch in to zoom in, that kind of thing. Um, you can, of course, double click, uh, like I was saying about this. If I, w I just use two fingers to tap here to bring up my right click if I want that. Or again, you can use the corners here if you want, uh, but it's just quicker for me to, to tap and get that right click uh, process going. So that's pretty, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I think, you know, like anything else, it's a little bit expensive um, kind of product for, you know, for a mouse. But, uh, eh, you know, I think, I think I might start liking it. I really do. I think it's going to be uh, very useful. And, the, and, and, and we'll see how it goes in a couple of months, you know, in the weeks to come. But I think it's going to be very useful. It's nice to also be able to scroll with two fingers. You have a lot better control over the scrolling than I do with my mouse. Uh, my mouse um, does not, uh, you know, scroll up and down as smoothly as um, is done here. So I really like that as well. So I think it is a possible productivity boost. Um, so anyway, that's I'm Bakari with uh, AppleMatters.com. Thanks a lot for watching this and I hope it helped you out.